What's up, Robert? So got that wrapped up. Uh, about lunchtime here. You know that's always the hot topic. Figure out what's going on that. And uh, man, we got a bunch going right now. Been super busy the past two weeks. So appreciate all you guys. You know, keep keep coming to us. You ready to ride? So we're gonna take this uh, F-250 we just wrapped up, uh, take it on a little test drive, kind of initial drive. Um, it's a big project for us. Customer will be picking it up later today, I think, and he's headed, headed straight to Florida, so we wanna make sure everything's to a T on it. Like I said, we just uh, just wrapped up this 2017 F-250 uh, for a good customer, Chris. Bennett up in Knoxville. We've done a few trucks for him now. Really appreciate uh, continued support and business. Um, like I said, this is kind of our initial test drive. Uh, this is something we do on every truck, Jeep, SUV, car, you know, whatever we work on as far as you know aftermarket suspension we always go test drive it check the steering wheel make sure the steering wheel straight make sure it drives good uh, make sure there's no alignment adjustments that are needed uh, often there are especially on your larger trucks like this uh, it can be a couple of times sometimes before you know to get the steering wheel perfectly straight um, <clears throat> but like i said he's He's from Knoxville, which is you know about an hour, hour and a half away. Uh, he's picking this truck up and headed straight to Florida. A lot of our customers, you know, they travel to us, and, and we can't thank them enough for you know always coming down and driving that extra distance. We really appreciate that. But uh, we just want to make sure everything's perfect and good to go on it. So we're going to take it out, put some miles on it. We've got to grab some pictures of it while we're out. Uh, just check it over good and do our kind of we'll get back to the shop do our final inspection make sure everything's torqued up paint mark it all check it over one last time and be ready to to go home so so we're cruising down the road running about 50 on the speedometer this thing seems like it rides and drives pretty good driving pretty straight really no adjustments for me required uh, steering wheel looks like we got it pretty good um, yeah, we're going to take it out and get it up to a little bit higher speeds just because we did uh, 26 16s, 35 15 50s. Uh, sometimes that stuff can, you know, the bigger, a lot of, this is something a lot of people don't always understand. The bigger you go with your wheels and tires and, and the crazier you go, you, you always give up something. Uh, and usually in that regards, it's, it can be some ride quality uh, just because you don't have as much sidewall. Um, quality of the tire can sometimes not be quite as good as like a, a Nitto or a Toyo, but overall Fury uh, does really good for us. They're the only company that really makes all these specialty sizes that uh, a lot of the enthusiasts are running. So big props to Fury for doing that. They're you know the only people that were kind of willing to, to dive into that market. So they give us a, a choice. And like I said, overall uh, it's great quality stuff does really good I mean I'm super impressed with this thing you can see you know these trucks drive better than anything on the road in my opinion especially with a, a well sorted kit like this and once we get stopped we'll, we'll dive into more of what we did and, and the whole kit and stuff like that Let's see if we can move this guy So we came over to our favorite little photo spot, or one of our favorite photo spots. We really need to find some more. Had to move a road barrier to get in here, but uh, got the truck set up. Um, let's, let's go over the truck real quick, just to kind of recap on what we did. So this is a 2017 F-250. Uh, we did the PMF Alpha kit, uh, which is the four-link front end. 
uh, four links the entire front end of the vehicle. Uh, did king coilover conversion with reservoirs uh, in the rear. It gets the PMF track bars, uh, which you can see kind of ties ties everything under the truck together real nice. Looks good with the white powder coat. It's got the king shocks back there with resi. Um, wheels and tires, American Force, uh, nothing but the best. 2616, this is the Genesis polished. Uh, went with the kind of wide, low steamroller look, which seems to be really hot right now. Uh, it's 351550 Fury MTs on the truck uh man we just we just had this thing out cruising at 80 miles an hour and it's it's smooth as glass i'm i'm super impressed with the the finished result as a whole uh did braided brake lines front and rear pmf dual steering stabilizer matching king shocks i mean this is top-notch setup all around like you really can't get much better than that so super impressed with it but yeah let's get some pictures and uh, get some more content and we'll show you guys what it's looking like So as you can see, I'm kind of the little bit of do-it-all guy around the shop. I, I like photography. It used to be one of my big hobbies. Shot some weddings back in the day and uh, kind of slowly got out of it. But I just want you guys, I guess, to see kind of all the dynamic that goes into two brothers and, and what we do as a whole. So, you know, we're, we're constantly just trying to adapt and get better. And, uh, you know, good quality pictures, I think, make a huge, huge impact. Uh, that's really where most of your social media followers and stuff come from. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have some good, good pictures of this thing. If you guys want to see them, make sure to follow us over on Instagram uh, at Two Brothers Tire and Auto. We'll have them posted up. And shout out to Liam, our photographer or media, media guy, photographer, videographer. He's he's the do it all, the man behind the camera. Uh, need to get him on here, show him off a little bit. We made it back to the shop, as you can see. Did a little bit of trim work here. Just shaved that corner of that valence right here. It's just very minor rubbing, believe it or not. Even though it looks looks like you got a lot of room with the offset wheels. Uh, gonna check that real quick. Uh, the truck, honestly, it drove perfect. Guys nailed it first time on the alignment and everything. Truck rode great, had it up to 80 miles an hour. Super impressed with that. Uh, we'll do one final check over on the suspension. Um, we've already done it twice, but just, just extra precautionary since he's headed so far and this thing's going to be ready to go home. What's up, Robert? $50, yeah, yeah, right. I wish. <laughs> so got that wrapped up. Uh, about lunchtime here. You know, that's always the hot topic. Figure out what's going on that. And uh, man, we got a bunch going right now. Been super busy the past two weeks. So appreciate all you guys, you know. Keep, keep coming to us. Check on this uh, big project we got going up here. See what's going on. New Denali we showed you guys uh, last week, I believe. It's getting a large uh, kit from FTS. Oh, I see how it locks in yeah. with that spot there. Yeah, so take a look at this. This is, uh, it's filthy right now. Don't pay attention. Chrome plated. That's kind of FTS's signature deal. I think this color, what, what color is this? Bentley. Bentley blue. It's Bentley blue, but it's still honestly more of a 
purple to me looks pretty good though other components that we still got to go on it these spindles are huge i think this is a 10 to 12 inch kit something like that doing 40 inch tires 28 by 16 wheels uh, it was recently paint paint matched uh, should be a good looking truck when it's all said and done just wanted to give you guys a quick update on it show you what it's looking like all right guys and girls uh that pretty well wraps up today's episode hope you enjoyed seeing kind of this feature episode on this uh beautiful f-250 uh, again we want to know what you guys are thinking about all these projects and uh, stuff that we're turning out you know what do you think about the truck as a whole what would you do differently uh, would you drive it as is you know drop us a comment whatever on that type of stuff we want to hear from you guys uh, again can't say thanks enough to chris uh, for bringing this down uh, truck turned out absolutely killer the white powder coat with the black truck polished wheels it's just timeless clean great driving setup um yeah hope you guys enjoyed it as usual uh like share comment all that good stuff keep tuning in for more episodes and thanks for watching